Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna be revisiting an old friend. <laughs> this is Maya by Paula Young. And I honestly don't remember her color. Let's take a peek. <laughs> I think she's in 1488. Yes, 1488 with an eight root. So she is a cute style. And I have a previous video on her where I tried to add some more curl to her. <laughs> but it was a total fail because I was using an older curling iron, like 30 years old. <laughs> it still warms up, but uh, there is no temperature control on her. So this is my old one made by Vidal Sassoon and all she has is low and high. Yeah, low and high. So there's no temperature setting and when you're putting any heat on your wigs, you really need to know what temperature you're using because generally heat friendly wigs, um, you wanna use about 350 degrees. So, know this, the temperature limits on your wig <laughs> before you're using any heat on them. So I decided to replace this one. So I did get this one on Amazon. It goes up to 430 degrees. I'm never gonna <laughs> go up that high, but it does have a vari variable temperature settings. So we are going to get this one warmed up and uh, give it a try. I mean, when I tried curling Maya the last time, I pretty much ended up straightening her and I didn't want that result. So she had more curl to her when I first bought her. <laughs> and I've also put a bang in her. But let's see if we can get some of that curl back today. Okay, I have Maya on my wig head and I'm gonna be using these longer uh, clips. They're made by Goody. I got these at Walmart, but if you can't find them in your area, I'll leave a link down below. These are, once the curl is made, we're gonna clip our curl um, so it stays in that curl pattern until it's cool and then we can take them off. So we're going to try in the back of the wig here. And this didn't take long at all to warm up. And so we have around 350 and it's definitely adjustable in 10 degree increments. Okay, I think we're finally getting the, the hang of it here. So Maya can only go up to 350 degrees. And I was having a lot of issues with just the hair slipping out of the curling iron, but then I figured out I have to, um, it's been a while guys, <laughs> start from the end of the curl curling iron and then wrap it around that way. And yes, it's hot. <laughs> so just counting to 15. Okay, and we're gonna release our curl. No, oh, that one didn't curl. I really don't know the rhyme or the reason, but while the hair is still hot, I've been clipping it in the curl pattern. So this is another one that has cooled off. So it is holding its curl. So we are getting some of that curl back, but it's just not working out exactly like I envisioned it, I guess. <laughs> so let's try another section here. If you have a curling iron that has worked well for you, I'd appreciate 
the input I even tried her up to 380 before I researched the temperature on her. Okay. A kind of a roundabout way of doing it. So this one is cooled off. So this one did keep its curl, even though, you know, we just did a finger curl type of thing. So we're not gonna play with these too much, but I'm gonna keep working on the bottom layers. And you are supposed to use some kind of protectant, heat protectant spray to protect the fibers. But I don't have any. And you know me, I hate to use chemicals if I can avoid it. This does take a lot of patience. <laughs> especially when you're doing a full wig like I am today.
Okay, so that took a bit. <laughs> and as you can see, my curling iron isn't actually curling. Um, and you probably saw me after I've heated the fibers, I'm curling them around my finger and then clipping them. And so once you heat the fibers, they're pliable. And so I was still able to put it into that curl shape, clip it, let it cool, and then it keeps the curl shape. But it's really not, <laughs> not the way it's supposed to go. Um, but I think I had better success this time. I don't know if it's my curling iron. It's definitely, at least I know what temperature I'm using. And I did find that it is easy to accidentally like touch the temperature button while you're using it. And of course, the way I was doing it, curling it over my fingers, it's hot <laughs> and I don't want you guys to burn yourselves. But I would appreciate any input that you guys have on the successes that you've had curling your wigs and what curling iron you use. <laughs> uh, this was not, uh, was more of a budget curling iron. It definitely wasn't a higher end one. And I don't know if that made a difference or not. But you can see that we have added some curls. I haven't touched them. I haven't finger combed them yet. And I'm really tempted to do that. <laughs> so she has all cooled off now. And I'm really excited to try her on because I forgot how beautiful Maya is. And I really would like to wear her again. Okay, so let's just do some gentle finger combing of those curls that we added. I think we definitely made a difference. I may have to... I washed her before doing all this and... I still feel like maybe I need to get my blow brush to form these bangs again. What is that? Hey, sticking up up that back there. <laughs> All right, let's take a look around. I just love the length on Maya. It's very comfortable, lightweight, and the color 1488 with a eight root is very pretty. She's one of my old favorites. <laughs> well, I'll have to rely on you guys to tell me what she looks like in the back, but I'll have to go check her out in the bathroom. <laughs> I wanna thank you for joining me today. Still gotta conquer that curling, <laughs> but I think we made some progress today in that department not crazing about touching the hot fibers after they've been off the curling iron. <laughs> but it did work once I clipped them in place to let them cool. Well, thanks for joining me today. Please give me your tips, <laughs> pointers, <laughs> equipment <laughs> recommendations. I would greatly appreciate it. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we will see you next time. Bye.